top 10 oldest universities in the Philippines. That's the topic we'll discuss today. I am Engineer Morgan Sai, your coach ng Bayan. So, coming in at number 10 is the Seminario Mayor de San Carlos. The Seminario Mayor de San Carlos is a top choice if you want to devote your life to serving the Lord as a priest. The Seminario de San Carlos, established in 1783 by the Archdiocese of Cebu, serves as the ancestor of the institution. In Cebu City, it is situated along Pope John Paul II Avenue. When selecting aspiring priests, the seminary adheres to the values and principles established by the Second Vatican Council. Additionally, they have a graduate school program that grants degrees in Masters of Art in Theology and Master of Art in Pastoral Ministry. So, coming in at number 9 is Colegio de Santa Rosa, the Beaterio y Casa de An Encianza. A school initially constructed to educate orphan girls in Intramuros is where the institution's roots can be traced. The institution, which was founded in 1750 by Dominican tertiary M. Paula de la Santísima Trinidad of Spain, has seen various administrative changes and is currently associated with the Daughters of Charity. Since 1981 to the present, Augustinian recollect nuns have served as the administrators. Preschool, elementary school, Junior high and senior high are all offered at this private all-girls institution. Rockwell, Makati City's Australia Street is the location of Colegios de Santa Rosa. Number 8 is St. Mary's College, Quezon City. The first congregation in the Philippines to provide both boys and girls formal education is St. Mary's College, Quezon City or SMCQC. Its origins can be discovered in Beaterio de la Compañía de Jesús, a school established in 1725 by Ignacia del Espíritu Santo. All Spanish, Chinese, Mestizas, and Filipino girls were welcome at the school. It established itself as a congregation in 1901. And in 1939, it officially changed its name to St. Mary's College. From kindergarten through grade 6, the school also offers junior and senior high. A variety of college courses are also available. In Quezon City near Ignacia Avenue is the St. Mary's College mother. Number 7. Santa Catalina College Santa Catalina College is a private sectarian school located in Sampaloc, Manila. It is currently run by a Dominican Order affiliated congregation known as the Dominican Sisters of St. Catherine of Siena. The Beaterio Colegio de Santa Catalina de Siena, founded in Intramuros in 1706, is connected to the school. In contrast to other schools that only accepted Spanish and Mestiza women, Mother Francisca del Espiritu Santos School quickly began to accept native girls. Santa Catalina College currently provides kindergarten, elementary school, junior high, and senior high. Additionally, they provide college courses for students pursuing a bachelor's degree. And coming in at number 6 is San Carlos Seminary, the Real E. Conciliar Colegio de San Carlos, founded in 1702 by the Archdiocese of Manila, serves as the ancestor of this institution. The school currently houses a number of seminarians, largely from the Metro Manila area and from several dioceses in Luzon. It has produced a number of notable alumni over the years, including the heroic priests Mariano of Gomburza and Jacinto Zamora, and the first Filipino Cardinal Rufino Santos. Cardinal Bishop of Cebu, Ricardo Vidal, and Bishop Nerio Odkimar, who was elected president of the Catholic Bishops' Conference of the Philippines. In Makati City is where you can find the San Carlos Seminary. Coming in at number 5 is the Santa Isabel College, Manila. This former all-girls school is situated in Armita, Manila City, and provides primary, intermediate, and post-secondary levels of education. Additionally, it provides a variety of bachelor's degrees in addition to graduate programs in music and the arts. One of the oldest girls' school in the world, Colegio de Santa Isabel, which was founded in 1632, is where the school's roots may be traced. Early on, the school only took in Spanish orphans. Later, it also welcomed Spanish mestiza. The Daughters of Charity currently run Santa Isabel College in Manila. Coming in at number 4 is Colegio de San Juan de Letran. 
This private school is situated in Manila's Intramuros district. According to records, the school is both the oldest secondary school in Asia and the oldest college in the Philippines. When it was founded in 1620, college courses were already being provided. A long list of prominent graduates from this institution includes a few revolutionary heroines as well as Philippine presidents, lawmakers, poets, clergy people, and judges. The institution offers fundamental education, bachelor's and associate's degree, as well as an exceptional graduate program with a range of options. The Order of Preachers' Friars currently run and own the school, or the Dominicans was what they call them. And coming in at number 3 is the University of Santo Tomas. The Colegio de, ne de Nuestra de Santísimo Rosario, currently known as the Catholic University of the Philippines and the Pontiff Fickel and Royal University of Santo Tomas, established in 1611 by Manila's Archbishop Miguel de Benavides, the largest institution in Manila in terms of enrollment is the University of Santo Tomas, which is located in Sampaloc, Manila. Basic education, undergraduate, graduate, and doctoral degrees are all offered by this institution. Commission on Higher Education, or CHED, has accredited numerous of its degree programs as centers of excellence and center of development. Number two would be San Jose Seminary. The Society of Jesus founded the institution in 1601. Its original name was Colegio de San Jose and its goals included educating and training young people in study and entrepreneurship as well as preparing future church pastors. The pupils and priesthood candidates were taught about cases of cons conscience and Latin grammar. The Manila Diocesan clergy, many of whom were seminary alumni, helped the seminary to continue to run after the expulsion of Jesuits from the Philippines. So they helped the seminary continue to run after the expulsion of Jesuits from the Philippines, which was mandated by King Carlos III of Spain. It's the seminary is located in Quezon City's Loyola Heights. And the oldest university in the Philippines is none other than, drum roll please, Number one is the University of San Carlos. It's a private university called the University of San Carlos, which can be found in Cebu City. The Colegio de San Ildefonso, which was founded in 1595, served as the school's original management and administration organization until being taken over by the Society of the Divine Word. As a result, the school becomes not only the oldest in the nation, but also in Asia. It provides elementary education, a preparatory Montessori school, and several undergraduate, graduate, and postgraduate programs with a broad spectrum of academic topics and specializations. The University of Santo Tomas rejects the University of San Carlos' claim that it's the oldest university in the nation. Claiming that there is a shaky relationship between Colegio de San Ildefonso and the University of San Carlos. This is a crucial distinction to make, but the University of San Carlos upholds its declared name, and in 1995, it even marked the occasion of its quadricentennial 400th founding day or the 400th, 400 years of its founding day. So, those are the top oldest universities and colleges here in the Philippines. So, once again, please like, share, and subscribe for more information and educational facts that you can learn for from here in the Philippines. Once again, I am Engineer Morgan Sai, your coach ng Bayan.